hello hello um i'm bobby <laughs> this is uh my channel pumpkin creek primitives uh it's about cross stitch so if you have somehow stumbled upon this stick around if you're not an asshole and gonna give me a thumbs down and a horrible comment about how dumb it is um yeah but if you're any of those other above things just move along we ain't got time ain't got time um if you oh i was going with that and this is how it just epically fails from the beginning i have so much stuff to show um i am not doing story time hot mess express story time this video because it's christmas eve Woo! and um this is basically going to be, um, because I'm going to have so much stuff coming to my shop, there's no way in the world I can show all of it um, on Sunday. I showed some of it last Sunday, and um, so I thought I'd do like a little midweek um, holiday special, if you will. And um, show also my whips, because I'm on, this is floss tube number 19. So I have not shown my whips since I think floss tube number one, which is really not that long ago, <laughs> but, um, cause I try to only show the ones that I actually like touch that week. So most of the time it's like one, maybe two. Um, so I'll go through and show all of mine in case you're new and you didn't start from the beginning. Um, and if you did start from the beginning, sorry, you're going to see them again. <laughs> um, so one of the things I want to to mention is um i've been watching a, it's so funny how you just start youtube decides it wants to recommend a new channel to you and then you're just like okay why is this just now getting recommended to me i don't understand um it should have been recommended to me before i even started my own floss tube um it is called three trails stitchers and i will put i'm trying not to edit this video so i can get it up faster because editing takes forever. Because guess what? If I have a two-hour video, guess how long it takes me to edit it? Probably two and a half hours. Because I have to watch the whole damn thing. <laughs> and then put in stuff where I said I was going to put stuff in. So I'm not doing that today. So if I mention something, I'm going to do my best to put it down in um, the show notes. So much faster. And that way I can get this uploaded to where people don't have to be up at 1 a.m. today to watch it. Um, sorry, Skeeter's being weird trying to figure out what he's doing no telling um hopefully we won't have any kitty cat interruptions this time because i just have stuff everywhere and it would just be oh my god i can't i can't um so also something i forget to say every time which is if you like the video like it if you want to see more of me hit subscribe i'm sure there's a bell somewhere in there so you get notifications when i upload a video you can Click that too. It would be wonderful. Um, yeah. Because I've got a big giveaway. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, which we're like a hundred or something off from hitting a thousand. <laughs> Once I hit a thousand subscribers, um, I I want to do really big getaway. So tell your mama, tell your friends, tell everybody. Tell them to subscribe. <laughs> um, I also want to mention this. Can we see this? See, it looks different. Um, I, it's just a little short one. I have done something to my wrist and my thumb. I think it was, I don't even know if I mentioned this last time. It hurt last time I did one, but I don't know if I mentioned it. I think Jasper, I had one of those retractable leashes. Jasper's my dog, if anybody's new, and you don't see him on these. Um, because he's a ball of tornado. Um, he's 11 month old. German short hair pointer. So, yeah. Um, I had a retractable leash. He came in the house and like lunged and like took, and I wasn't holding it tight, wasn't ready for it. And my whole hand went and I think it just overextended my wrist and my thumb. So these, these fingers work fine. They do not hurt, but my hurt is all through here and I keep overextending my thumb. So I went and got this. Uh, I went and got a brace yesterday and it didn't, and it was a wrist one and it didn't fit. It was too small. 
So I took it back today and got this one, which I'm glad it didn't fit because I really needed the one that's got the thumb that doesn't move your thumb. That being said, I have to take it off to set listings up because I can't type like this. Um, I can do stuff on the iPad and stuff because I point with my middle finger anyways, which drives my husband absolutely bonkers. Um, he hates it. Like he smacks my hand like I'm a kid. <laughs> We're in a restaurant and let's pretend let's pretend this is the menu so i've got the menu and i'm all like yeah, let's see what do i want what do i want and i do this and it drives him bananas uh he's like i'm gonna break that finger <laughs> my dad does it too so i got it honestly um something new i tried because somebody and i apologize i i mean i know it's somebody i talk to all the time <laughs> mentioned um maybe putting something over on my camera side because i keep looking at the red thing here right there um to help me look at the camera and i put a little posty note on the side um, but it's just off because um the camera's literally right there so i couldn't like stick it on the front of the phone so it's kind of to the side and i bent it forward so that i can see it but it's still i still want to look there because that's actually on the phone but i think it, it's getting better it's fine It'll work. It's fine. Um, all right. So, oh, today is brought to you by the Arches. Sweet tea. So good. So good. Um, oh, and with this thing, so my husband all day today, he keeps telling me to use my strong hand. If you don't know what that's from, then use my strong hand. Um... You don't need to know if you don't know. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's a movie. <laughs> so, yeah. So, everything I've done today, he's like, you need to use your strong hand. So, anyways. Let's leave it here. Another. Let's get on to the giveaways from last video. Which I feel bad because I know you guys didn't have, people haven't had a chance to get caught up since I'm doing this uh, shorter than normal. But, I have more stuff to give away. No big deal. Um, okay. No, it went bananas. All right, so I may have to take this thing off because I may not be able to. So we have these two little Notion bag holders that both have the little peppermint candy pool. I'm not gonna think all over the place. So we had, and the word was Templar, which is what my Hot Mess Express story time will be next video. I'll do it on the Templar nights. Um, and we'll learn some and then i'll show the long dog Ooh, i thought i did it <laughs> the long dog um pattern again the templar prophecy because i'm telling you i am going to stitch that maybe on my deathbed but i'm going to stitch it i promise what are you doing did something bite you did you get into something why are you twitching and wiggling what'd you get everything's twitching on you It always weirds me out when he does that. Like he keeps like licking and biting his tail. Okay. Let me go scratch him. Make sure he's acting all weird. Hold on. Okay. I don't know what his problem was. <laughs> I mean, it's just kitten problems. I don't know. Anyways. So the word was Templar. Um, there were 12 comments. So let's see what the first. And else that watches the other floss tubes or if you have a floss tube um because i even noticed like Teresa koga does this and then um just keep stitching does this i think janet jabber does this am i doing giveaways wrong <laughs> or is it just because people are filming on what they would be doing the comment picker on he literally is acting like something is after him I don't know. Um, because everybody else like cuts to a different video, but I feel like I can show you guys like as I'm doing it on here to show that I'm doing it fair. So I put in Templar, I'm pointing with my middle finger, and it says 12 comments. So we're gonna hit start. And it's gonna run through everything. 
and it's Frankie Easter. Awesome. Um, so yeah, Frankie, let me, um, my email's below. So just send me an email with your, um, sorry, he's being really weird and he's distracting me. Oh my God. Y'all know Skeeter, he's weird anyways. Um, yeah, so Frankie Easter, that's the first winner of the giveaway. Um, just email me, send me your mailing address, and I'll get this out to you. Of course, it'll it'll be next week just because Christmas, you know. So, all right, y'all saw that, right? Yep. Okay. Then it's the push another button. It says pick another winner. Boom. Denise Jeffries. Woo-hoo. And I already have your address, sister, so you don't have to worry um, about emailing me. I got you. So, let me, before I do anything else, even though I can't probably write in this brace, let me attempt to write in this brace. <laughs> I want these. So, Denise Jeffries and Frankie Easter. All right. Sorry, guys. I have to write it down. Because guess what? I will sleep before this video. People start realizing they've won. And that's what happens. <laughs> is when I sleep. Lose it. Falls out onto my pillow. All my knowledge. <laughs> At least it seems that way. Alright. So I think that's all I need from there. And then this week. I think that's all I need. So then today, is this true? What have I lost? I thought I had, oh, I guess that's fine. I'm gonna do the patterns today. I'm gonna hold these off till next Sunday just because Sorry, y'all had to <laughs> witness that long thought pause. Um, just because, uh, well, you know what? I may just hold off and not do. But y'all kill me if I don't do a giveaway this go round. I'm not going to do one this go round. I'm going to wait till next Sunday because this is Christmas and everybody's got family stuff and they may not. I would hate because then my next one's going to be Sunday. And I would hate to only give people like three days to get a chance to watch this and get it, you know. So. Just kidding. No giveaway today. Um, actually, you know what? Nope. I'm kidding. We're going to do a... Um, let me write it down <laughs> before I start saying stuff. We're going to do a uh, $15 credit to my Etsy store. Um, is what we're going to do. Um... And then we'll figure out the word at some point in this. That's what we're going to do. Because I feel like it's Christmas Eve. I want to do something. Right? I want to give you guys something. Um, yeah. So a $15 credit to my Etsy store. can only be used on my store. Can't be used anywhere else in Etsy. Um, it'll be in the form of a coupon code. All the things. Uh, you have to be actually on this one. Do you have to be? Over the age of 18, because I don't need your address for it. I don't think anybody under the age of 18 watches me, but um, yeah. And then obviously this can be international, domestic, whatever, because um, it's just a digital code. So, and then next Sunday, I'll do the two patterns and the two so that everybody gets a full week to watch that video. That's what we're going to do. And you know what? I really, I need more room. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. I need more room, guys. I need more room. Um, And I think I was trying to say earlier and then got distracted by the cats, but the one I've been binging, Three Trails Sister, C 
stitchers, not sisters, stitchers. They are two sisters and a cousin and a mom. Mom's on there sometimes. I haven't got to the mom yet. So I started watching them and then I went, started watching backwards and I was like, no, 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 no. I watched like four of them, like backwards. <laughs> and then was like, okay, no. So, um, which is also how I'll look at a magazine. I will flip from the back. I'm a weird, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't do that with books. I'm not somebody that starts and reads the last page and then starts in the beginning. I do not do that. But a magazine, I will straight up start flipping from the back. I don't know. So then I went and started not watching their floss tube number one on through. Um, the sisters are librarians. Um, it said what the cousin did and I don't not recall. Anywho, um, they have at the end of theirs, they have like a media section, which I know like Julie, Kansas City girl in Colorado world. She um, does her book talk. I have not read a book in so long. It's sad. Um, just time, right? Maybe when I retire. Um, but I would like to do like a small maybe media thing at the end of mine. Just to say what I'm listening to or watching this week. Most of the time, it's floss dupes. <laughs> but occasionally, it's something else. Um, so, yeah. we may, I may do that if I remember. But, um... I'm saying a lot of ums. Sorry. I think it's because I'm nervous because I got so much crap to show. Okay, so I'm going to start with my bestie who does not watch this because she does not cross stitch. Um, sent me my uh, Christmas gift and one of it was Amazon gift card. But she also sent me this and I just had to show it off because you guys, this is everything. Look at him all his tentacles and all his little suction cups he is amazing and his name is Fred Fred is amazing I love Fred so much I this cat is still acting like something is after him did something bite you sorry I was really loud I just yelled it um I have no place to sit this time this room is going to be a hot mess when I'm done. The other thing she sent me was a mug. And it says, in my defense, I was left unsupervised. <laughs> Which this happens a lot. Speaking of. So I've been unsupervised all morning. Because my husband worked last night. So he's been sleeping. And he came upstairs. And I said, hey, I did a thing. And he's always like, not crap. What? And I said, um, so I downloaded this demo for this cross stitch program. And I uploaded my Angry Daisy with the You Talking Stitch. And um, so cute. I messed with it and worked on it. So it is now a cross stitch pattern. Only problem is I got to figure out how not to make it a tapestry size. <laughs> it's like, it calls for a 14 by 14 piece of fabric on Ada. That is one giant ass daisy. I don't need it to be the size of a piece of paper. I need it to be like five by seven. You know, something small. So, I was left unsupervised. So, I just got to figure out how to do that with this program. I'm only in demo mode. I haven't purchased it yet. Um, I had reached out to Michelle from Bendy Stitchy. And she had told me the program that she uses. And I looked them up. And I was all ready to get that one. And went to pay online. And they say, we are no longer accepting payments online. And I have to mail in a check. Which then means they're going to mail me the product, I believe. So, then I was like. So then I did some more research on some other ones and uh, ended up downloading the demo for Win Stitch. And kind of taught myself without looking at the manual. <laughs> it's very, very user friendly, really. Um, the only problem I'm having right now is when I uploaded the picture, it uploaded it a 200 by 200 stitch, which is the stitch grid. And um, so now if I try to shrink it any, uh, I lose. Um, That's the word I'm looking for, detail. And it's not that much detail too, it's very cartoony. Um, so now I gotta figure out, did I just need to go in my Procreate and make the image smaller to up I don't know, I don't know. Um, well, something's happening, I heard something, I don't know. Okay, so I also wanted to talk about, um, I got a couple Christmas cards. And I've got one from Becca Murphy, which is Sambri Stitches. I thought that was so sweet. 
Um, I completely need, I mean, I was an epic fail this year, but you guys, I mean, if you've watched my channel, you all know why, and I'm sure you all are understanding of why. Um, I'm gonna have to take this, I'm gonna have to take this wrist guard off because uh, I don't think y'all wanna watch me open stuff for 42 days. I'm so dramatic. Um, and then Sheila sent me this beautiful card. And then she's the one, of course, that makes the Notion bags. Isn't that cute? So I appreciate all of these cards. You guys are so sweet. And I feel like such a slacker and a horrible friend um, for not doing it. And then my girl Mia, um, she watches and she's also a customer. And she sent me this cute little card. And the best part of it, she sent me some floss rings. I'm going to try not to drop them everywhere. <laughs> so I'm holding them. And then you can write the number there. And that's like a kitty. All the little kitties and the bicycles in Paris. And they're laminated. They're so cute. So cute. So, and I actually need them for a project. So I had to remember, I tried to almost came and stole them. And I was like, oh, no, no, I got to show this first. <laughs> so. I need to put them in a project. Okay, so that was my stitchy kindness. And now for my personal haul, I ordered some, because I showed those patterns, those primitive um, patterns where you make the stuff out of like the muslin and that was the other word that I can't pronounce. Well, I also from the old, uh, old sap bucket, Sorry, old was with an E and it was confusing me. And I just bought some little primitive looking um, fabrics and stuff. And I'm going to use these to make, I don't know, I may make a, um, one of those garlands where you tear it. Or I may just use it for clothing for those little snowmen people that are so stinking cute so yeah that's and I don't like I said I will put it here let me hold let me just hold it up oh let me probably already saw that <laughs> let me just hold <laughs> but yeah um and then from her I also got some where she and they smell like cinnamon it smells and like nutmeg like it smells so good and um i just got some of that cloth and had it where it looks aged like some of it still has the clothes and stuff on it but how awesome is that um oh it just smells wonderful i kept it in the plastic i mean i kept it in the tissue paper a little bit so that like when I open it, it smell like I can hit with the smell. Y'all, I'm just throwing this stuff everywhere. It's not good. Hold on. Sponsor time. Okay. Then other personal haul is I did some little witchy stitcher stuff. <laughs> this dead inside. <laughs> I love it. I love it oh and then i got because they showed this on three trails stitchers and um it's like this little zombie gingerbread and is he not the cutest he's so cute love it i wonder if still city stitchers showed that too maybe Maybe not. Um, and then from, this is quilting related, but uh, Maureen McCormick, Marsha, 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 um, did a line with Moda called A Blooming Bunch. And they are the most 70s prints. I mean, I love them. Let me grab my, oh, um, so that's the side views of them. They are fabulous. <laughs> so yeah, so I got the, whatever these bundle is, half yard bundle. 
and I got three layer cakes. Um, sorry, put them back in the box. Um, I don't know what in the hell I'll make with it. I mean, a quilt, obviously. Um, I love them so much. Just so weird because, like, in the early 80s when my mom had stuff like that, like my sheets and stuff looked like that, I hated it. Now it's just so nostalgic, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay. So I, ha I bought some more project bags because I know the last video I had said I needed some that were not seasonal. And um, I did order some things from Sheila. And of course, I'll always have her shop below. And I ordered some things from Anna um, at Stitch Toolbox. And then I cheated a little bit. <sighs> And I felt bad. I ordered a couple bags from some different people. <laughs> Which is so funny that I feel like I'm cheating. I don't, like, if somebody went and bought a pattern somewhere else, I would never feel like they're cheating on me. It's just me. I'm a weirdo. Um, I had to get this pig one. I mean, can we talk about that? Because, <laughs> um, you know, I've got that tribal pig. Well, if you saw my first episode, you would know, or second one. One of those, I show the tribal pig that's kitted up, but it's not started. So this one is by Creations by Mary Rose. And I love this pig. I love it. And I got the perfect thing to go in it. And then these are all from um, Lake Wynn Studio. And I got this bag. I got sorry I'm having to like completely turn around and then I got this one because you gotta have the bees and then I got this one look at that inside guys and then it came with a little motions bag And that was Lake Wind Studio. Love them. And these are like really quilted. Like this one is really more padded than the other ones. Okay. And then the next thing, small haul, but it's it's present related. So I had showed before that I had bought my mom um, RBG. Nope. I love RBG and I am on the wait list of the wait list to get a bag from someone on Instagram. So, um, <laughs> um, cause I literally, I messaged her and said, um, cause Mia told me where she got hers. And then I messaged her and said, um, do you have a wait list for the wait list? <laughs> she was like, yes, I'll add you to the wait list. Um, uh, so this is RBF angel that I absolutely love i bought one for myself and i bought one for mom she's a little bit of an odd size she does not fit in five by seven frames so i had to get creative and i think i'm going to pull a um chelsea and priscilla uh where i'm going to put some fabric on um, some sticky board that's just a little bit bigger than her and then glue her down and then this is what i did so i bought this this is all hobby lobby okay so i got this and I'm thinking, I'm not gonna be able to hold this right, but she's gonna go here-ish. Maybe. I'm not centering it, but you get the you get the gist. And then we're gonna put this here. Ish. <laughs> so I think that'll work good, right? She won't have a glare because she won't be in plastic. But this is going to my mom. And then I may have to go back and buy these same things to do mine that way because I think it's gonna I think it's gonna look good. Um we'll see. I'm gonna require my husband's help for it though. Okay, so the other thing I did, and it was supposed to be for my husband's birthday, which is in February, but because I just was playing around earlier this week, but the digital um mock-up came back super fast and then um so then once I got 
that back I thought that was this morning no I mean I got it yesterday but this morning I went on Walgreens and was like yeah okay let me go see because you know then by the time they send the canvas I'm gonna see how long that'll take I want to make sure with delays at the post office which I've not had really any issues with that but um I want to make sure that I had enough time right because it's early February so apparently Walgreens does canvas printing in like an hour almost so when I went on to Walgreens and put in the digital image that I got and everything, they were like, you can pick it up today by nine o'clock. And I'm like, cause I was doing it at like 7 a.m. this morning. I was like, okay, yes, please. Cause I already knew I had to go return my wrist brace. And so I was like, sweet. So my husband has no, so now it's a Christmas gift because I'm not waiting until February. Um, and it's just, it's kind of funny and it's kind of brilliant. And if anybody knows, my dog's name is his, I don't know if anybody knows, you wouldn't know this unless, I don't know if I've told you. His registered name with AKC is, because um, his dad's name was Lord Bono, and his mom's name was Lucy. So his name is Lord Jasper Von Lu, because he's German, short hair pointer, so Von Lu. Lu for Lucy, and Lord for his dad. So, Lord Jasper. So, I had this done. <laughs> it just makes me laugh every time. It's so funny. And I mean, they do a good job, guys. Look at the, like, I mean, that edge could have been a little bit better right there. But, I mean, it's already got the hook on it. And it's got the, and this was, like, half off right now so yeah you guys that's hilarious so I asked the person um if sorry I got my back to you while I'm talking um I asked her or him because I have no idea if they do a bulk discount because I'm thinking that for his birthday I need to make a calendar that has all the animals in it and all different types of outfits because they have this one one that's offered that it has a cat's face on it and it's like this big giant dress very um elizabeth tudor type dress and it's phenomenal i only have one female cat so isis and isis really doesn't have the head for it but i think i can make it work because it's such a big dress and isis is so small faced skeeter would have been perfect because he's got the hair but we'll have to figure out something else for Skeeter but so that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do he doesn't watch my floss tape so that's fine I got on to him I was like really you don't watch them and he's like no and I was like babe that would be supporting me and he's like I like your photos on Instagram <laughs> like okay <laughs> good point it's fine <laughs> it's fine um all right so shop haul now again I still have so much more out there to get in that I will show on Sunday. And I still gotta take photos of all this stuff. So I guess, I don't know, maybe I can't decide whether, sorry, my, I got crap all over this um, Stitching with the <laughs> sweatshirt. Um, I have, um, what am I trying to say? So much stuff out there, but I also have to take photos. So I think I'm gonna continue entering stuff today and I'll take photos. Maybe some tomorrow morning and then some Saturday. Because we also, on Saturday, I want to play around with the Glowforge because it's not even hooked up yet. And so, I would like to be done with everything I need to do in the shop so that Saturday and Sunday can be Glowforge play day. That would be awesome. So, if I don't get everything I have in, it's fine. I can continue working on them. Um, I got broke out. I don't know what happened to me. Anyways, sorry, squirrel. Um, so I bought these not knowing that they're kits. But it's fine. The pattern is great. That's what matters, right? Um, but I got these butterflies. I'm sorry, I'm flipping everybody off right now holding that up. 
but they come i mean all the fabric it's got the fabric oh, it's got a needle and it's got the floss um it is swagger ada 14 is the canvas does not mention whether these are dmc or not um i feel like i've heard other people talk about the, the this brand is it riolis 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 i don't know i'm not familiar with them but i'm new to cross it so whatever but anyways this is swallowtail it's a full kit and then i got the ulysses butterfly which is phenomenal all these are kits and then I got the, ooh, yeah, I'm not even saying that one. Nymph is the first part, <laughs> but it's beautiful, beautiful. So these are all the, these are all kits, um, which I have some other, you'll see those next week, uh, Sunday. Some other butterflies and um they're also kits but i think they're a different brand i could be wrong okay so i got some animal crackers stacy nash primitives this is jenny jenny got glare she's so cute and then she's got the little uh, Scissor pouch in the back. Sorry. I ain't got space, so I gotta throw these back in this box this way. And then we got another Animal Cracker series. This is Humphrey. <laughs> he's so cute. And he's got the little scissor pouch on the back. I love Humphrey. Of course, Monroe is like one of my favorites. That's the mouse with the vest. He's already in my shop. And this is the Animal Cracker Crumbs series. This is Milo. How cute is he? And this is Animal Cracker. It says Animal Cracker series, but I think this is supposed to be also Cracker Crumbs series. This is Jack. Those are all dry. Okay. And I'm sorry if I keep wincing. The struggle is real. Okay, so this is basket full of summertime with thy needle and thread. Brenda Gervais. I hope this does not take five days to do. Erica Michaels, Lucky Berry. Let me get the glare off of there. Cottage Garden. This is Be Happy. Annie B B's Folk Art. Little Pink Houses. I personally have this one. I've had this one for almost a year. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> Can you see it? There we go. I can't hold them as well with my left hand. I'm going to have to switch back to my strong hand. <laughs> this is hands-on design um, with the... Nope, this is just the hands-on design. No, it's not. can't be. Liberty Chockful. I guess those aren't the ones. I thought they she did those with. Um, nope, these are the ones that she just did, I guess. I thought she did those with um, the Chockful ones with Priscilla. Uh, this is Plum Street Samplers, Hairs, Hunt. I have a bunch of his other, the other Hairs stuff. 
He's so cute. Here's Halloween is so cute. That little skinny rabbit who's so slender manny looking is amazing. And this is Senorita de Campagda. Um, and I should have looked this one up. Cori de Pasqua, which is heart of something. We did figure that part out, but heart. But that's the branch tree heart. And I've got the little, what I call the little Dutch girl in it for the Christmas. And then we have the Halloween one. And this is now the springtime Easter one. And then Corre de Badacure is, did not, sorry. Um, obviously, Pasqua is Easter because it's on this one too. Just guessing. Um, but it says it's not Easter without eggs. So I'm assuming that says, that's what that says down there too, is it's not Easter without eggs. But how cute is that? They're so cute. I love their patterns. Again, my Italian designers. Uh, Country Cottage Needleworks, Trees and Bees. So cute. And then Plum Street Samplers, Nightshade Bird. I don't know if I'm brave enough to do that as a drum, but that drum is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Here's where it looks like all the way out. And Plum Street Samplers, Grace on Thee. That's great. Love it. I love the topiaries. Okay, so I gotta keep this separated because these I just showed you are what I'm about to type in this afternoon. Oh, shoot. Um, these are ones I've already got in there. I just need photos taken. There is a system to the madness. I promise. Maybe. Okay. So this is Glendon Place. Let me move. And it comes with the... Um, I am not sure why it comes with one thing of floss. Odd. It's the embellishment pack. Oh, it's because it's a DMC color variation. Okay, sorry. But it's the um, little embellishment pack. Comes with the bead and it comes with that because that's a variegated DMC. So it's not something that you would normally possibly have. But this is called Until We Meet Again by Glendon Place. It's a bunch of calla lilies. And it says, Until We Meet Again, those special memories of you will always bring a smile if only I could have you back just for a little while. Then we could sit and talk again just like we used to do. You always meant so very much and you always will. The fact that you're no longer here will always cause me pain, but forever in my heart you'll be until we meet again. That's sweet. So... A little memorial piece. All right, and these are by Michelle Ink Designs, and she's part of what's behind the uh, Remembering Bygone Stitches, and she's part of who's um, has the copyright and has re released all the um, Bygone Stitches stuff. So this is called Late for Tea. Is that not the cutest thing? <laughs> oh, cat. The Mad Hatter hat. I love it so much. Love it. And then this one says, Where's the party? The same little cat. This is a little witch's hatter. And the little pumpkin balloon. I love it. So cute. Um, and then this is part of the Quaker seasons, which I had autumn and winter already in my shop. Um, and this is remembering bygone stitchers, so or stitches. So this is um, they took it was stuff um, that I believe her name was Gail. Um, 
before she passed away, like she had, and she was bygone stitches and she had, you know, notes and ideas of things that she wanted to do or partly drawn patterns or whatever. So they finished some of her ongoing works and call it remembering bygone stitches. So that's what Quaker Seasons is part of that. So this is summer. And this one is spring. Like I said, autumn and winter are already in my shop. And then bygone stitches. This is her One Nation. And Janet Jabber just finished this. It was amazing. Amazing. And then this is Quaker Virtues bygone stitches. Gorgeous. So beautiful. All right. I may say this wrong, and I apologize if I do, but it's Chatelaine. Um, this is the Royal Tudor Mandala. Let me get close to that. Hopefully get the glare off and it'll focus. You guys, this is like epic stitching. It's so gorgeous. No. There we go. <laughs> so, the Royal Tudor Mandala. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And these are like, these are not cheap. And I mean, this is like a novel. Sucker is thick. And um, this one's the also by Chatelaine. And it's the Poison Garden Mandala. So pretty. And I think these have like a lot of specialty stitches in them. But this one's got a flower. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve archways. It has different flowers. Twelve different flowers with their name. Oh, gorgeous. And then this is Twin Peak Primitives and it's Strawberry Pickin' from Emma. Isn't that cute? Love it. Move in right along. All right. And sorry, get these so then I can put them right back in the box. All right. So I got some, and I haven't carried any of this designer in my shop yet, but the trilogy. This is Giggly Wiggly's Snowman. And it is so cute. So cute. Apparently they have a penguins one too. Because I see it on the back. I did not get the snow. I mean the penguin. But I did get. They're in here. Okay. Really? There we go. Now that I'm spreading those all over the place. Giggly Wiggly's Reindeer. How cute. I love it. They're so funny. And it shows the penguins on the back of this. So maybe there's only three of them. Um, this is also the trilogy and it's um, winter lineup. Isn't that cute? And I have all of them. Well, I'll show you that in a second. Hopefully it's on the back of the one, the next ones. This is the Halloween lineup. Look at those ghosts. Oh my God, it's so good. Here's the Easter lineup. Personally, myself, I would stitch these individually and I would finish them off the same to where it can be like on magnets where you just switch them out. Um, spring lineup. The turtles. My strong hands getting tired. Um, autumn lineup. 
Look at them crows. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the last. So yeah, so on the back of this, it shows where they stitched them all together, but I think I like them separated out to where I can change them with the season. All right, so I got an itch down here. This is um, with Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. It's all bundled up. This, these are not new, but if he is not the cutest snowman, and if that is not the cutest little cardinal with a scarf on, I mean, can you even? I love all of her stuff. Still trying to reach out to her so I could buy directly from her, but not successful. Basketful of Autumn Time. It's also a Bren Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. Maybe I can connect with her at market in May. Maybe, maybe. Um, basket full of springtime. Got a theme here. <laughs> and I had a basket full of summer in the other one, but it hasn't been, they have not been entered yet. Field Mouse Hollow. It's also Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. All her little mouse ones I just love. And I don't know at what point you decide, you know what, I think I'm just going to design some fat mice and do all kinds of fun um, seasonal things with them. Um, and then this is also Brenda Gervais, Spirits and Spells. She's got her witch. Mm. And this is also Brenda Gervais, and it's Bloom Where You're Planted. It's so pretty. I love the colors. They're so muted. It's a nice hummingbird. He almost blends in at first. And then Harriet and Company. So cute. And oh, stay there. Another Brenda Gervais with with thy needle, and it's O Tenenbaum, and that is just gorgeous. The color palette is amazing. Uses dried thyme, red rocks, old red paint. Yeah, that one's gorgeous. We got Little House Needleworks, Gingerbread Street. How cute is that? Oh, show some of the chart. I gotta be careful. And this is Fairy Wool in the Woods. This is Gingy. Gingy. So cute. And it comes with a little charm. The two bells and the candy cane. So cute. Little Gingy. And then the Scarlet House, bringing home the tree. I love that one. So cute. And that's it, guys. Phew. I mean, patterns. I still have um, all my uh, whatchamacallits. Whips. So I think I'm going to pause this and rearrange my stuff and then I'll come back. I mean, you won't notice, but <laughs> all right. So this is inserted somewhere randomly in the video because I never gave the word <laughs> for the giveaway of the $15 to my Etsy store. <laughs> I'm just firing myself. I mean, come on. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so we, the word <laughs> is going to be strong. Okay, you can use it any way you want to. You can make reference to that you know what the strong hand reference is from. Uh, or you can just use the word strong um, in any way 
uh, that you want. So, um, yeah, no idea where I've plugged this in at, but <laughs> hopefully I've mentioned the strong hand <laughs> so that this makes sense. But, okay, back to um, your scheduled program. Okie dokie. I am going to take this off because otherwise it's going to take forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. Okay. Yes, I randomly have song and movie quote threats. <laughs> so, <laughs> it happens. Okay. Where shall we start? I got three things going. Um, Let's start with just a couple things I've kitted up that are to come. So I've got two, nope, I'm crazy. I have three Christmas day starts. I didn't realize I kitted up three things. <laughs> oh, well, you know, what's she gonna do? Okay, so of course this is in my Sheila bag and I keep saying Sheila bag and I know it's because it's like in in why crafts and quilts quilts and crafts oh Sheila I do that every time I just need to write it down have it sticky just stuck somewhere it's terrible oh wait hold on cheater cheater uh oh Frankie here name fell off um NNY kilt, kilts, <laughs> NNY quilts and crafts, NNY quilts and crafts, okay, all right, so it's in my bag by Sheila, <laughs> and it's the, my fanny, I haven't opened it yet, Santa collection number one. I showed this last week. But that Santa and those snowmen. And he could be winter. I mean, because he's kind of a, you know, he's not the traditional Santa. Um, and snowmen are winter. So I got that all kitted up. I'm going to do it on um, some Helix. Picture this plus. So, and that's my snowman needle minder I got from Anna. at Stitch Toolbox. And, oh, get back in there. Please don't make me hurt my hand. Oh. I don't know what I did. I mean, I think I know what I did, but I don't really know that's what happened. And then I'm going to use my, um, my little key um, when I finally put them on floss cards. I'm not fooling with that. Sorry, guys. I don't have the dexterity right now. Um, so these are all Christmas Day starts. Hold on. I just threw those on the floor. Oh, no, nope, just one of them fell. Oh, now they're all trying to fall. Okay, the struggle is real right now. Okay, so this is in another Stitch Toolbox bag. And this is my other Christmas start. I had to like hide the ribbon pull. I had to tuck it in because that fool out there chewed off half my ribbon. I'm about to start saying I can't have ribbon <laughs> pulls. I'm only gonna have the decorative ones. Um, but this is the Little Stitcher Christmas Carol, a Christmas Carol, the Three Spirits. And I love that one. And I'm actually going to do it on Grandpa's sleeve. Because I want it dirty. Dingy, dirty. Dirty and dingy. So that's another Christmas start. That needs to start. And here's my last Christmas start. Which I'm using my um, pull from the digital box. This is also her bag. And 
It's the Star of Christmas. Of Bella Filipina. Um, Y'all, she's going to be intense. Because... all those colors <laughs> yeah um and i'm stitching this one on fabric flare and it is called twilight and this is 16 count but i don't know oh you got a little bit it shimmers ever so slightly and there you go ever so slightly and then i'm using my needle minder that my girl marianne made me the angel wings it was appropriate and this is like a yard of fabric <laughs> but i'm gonna have to cut it down um i gonna make sure i had enough because <laughs> i have a navy out there that would have been perfect i think as the background of this but it wasn't a big enough piece so i'm trying to just work with what i got i mean i had to go to hobby lobby and buy all these dmc's which, by the way, I just need to buy the whole collection. But my problem is I kid up stuff. So then I probably have most of the collection. They're just in bags. I need to not kid up something until I'm ready to stitch it. But then the problem is when I'm ready to stitch it, I'm ready to stitch it right now. And then it's not kitted up. It's, it's a whole it's a whole thing. Okay. And then I've got my um, inaugural start. Nargle Day start. And I believe this is another Stitch Toolbox bag. And I am going to do, by the Resting Eagle, another Italian designer, Ask Not. And I do have this in my shop. I'll have all those in my shop. And this is actually, it's in my shop as a PDF. And I love it. My little JFK. And of course it says, that's not what your country can do for you, but what can you do for your country? And this is in loving memory. It's got JFK on there and I'm going to do it in X Design marbled hazelnut. So I think it's going to look great on that. And I do not have all the colors for it. I have two. <laughs> I have two. <laughs> the other ones were ordered, but I have two. And then I'm going to stitch it with my, um, I got this from Miss Dottie's. She's the whole, well, she, I think it's a guy, but I love these thread drops, thread drops, thread rings. So, and I have a whole drawer to make stuff like this. So I just don't have the images printed out to do it. One day, <laughs> maybe I can make some of those over New Year's. Even though my shop will be open, I will still will be not working. So maybe I can do that. And then this is going to be my February, because I'm already doing my Freedom one, because I wanted it done before Black History Month. Um, but this one is going to be my start, my February start for Black History Month. And it's the primitive hair. I showed it last week. Harriet Truman. Did I say Truman? Tubman. I guess because it was Harry. Harriet. Harry. Truman. Harriet. Tubman. Lord, help us all. I will do this. I got some of them on drops. But I'm missing one. And I got to put this on a drop. So it's all very dark browns neutrals and I'm gonna do it on x design grandma slip so I think that'll look good I think you'll be able to see everything for Harriet Tubman I should edit that out that's embarrassing I was just a slip of the tongue it's not like I don't know who she is all right it wasn't Freudian slip though it's just my brain trying to finish. It hurt Harry instead of Harriet. So yeah, so that I'm going to start in February. The Black History Month. 
And those are all my getting ready to start. <laughs> now here are my, I've started and abandoned my whips. Um, this is from a Stitch Quarterly Tay Pumpkin from uh, Fat Quarter Shop. I don't like the fabric. I like the look of the fabric. It's a burlap. It's by Lori Holt, but I don't like it. And so I just stop. And you got to use about a damn tent needle. Um, ignore the flaws. <laughs> but that's all I've gotten done. Is some of the vine work. I just don't care for it. It's just so big. I think my stitches don't look great on it. So I may start this over and do it on something, a smaller count. Um, guess it would help if I showed you the pattern. There it is. So mine just don't look that cute. I think this is the only stitch quarterly. I have all of them, but it's the only one I actually, I think, started. Because it was a pumpkin, and I got excited over the pumpkin. Um, and then I did Fat Quarter Shop. I don't even think I have, I don't even have this printed. <laughs> I printed off the first section. <laughs> it's now, of course, finished, and I could show you the finished. Um, Thing. but oh but it does have my good plague doctor <laughs> needle minder on it but that's what I got started so far ha <laughs> exactly ha but look at the needle minder it's so good I'm sure he's from mad for minders because all my good ones come from there I gotta start making them I mean, I'll still buy from her too. I'm an equal opportunist. <laughs> okay. And then this next one is Clouds Factory. It's the Grimm's Fairy Tales. I think all the pieces are now released. I have not printed them off. So I think all that I've got printed off is up to that point. Of course, the rest of it's finished now stuck at this game um and then i got a bags plus in here one of the little floss bitties that was alice in wonderland but i love these little things i need to get more i go back and forth with how i like to um but this is where i would stick the floss until i needed to use it or no when i used it just kidding what do i have in here i got all kinds of stuff in here um, and this was the fabric. Do I have two pairs of scissors in here? Y'all, that's a waste. I got two pairs of scissors in there. All right, Pokey Dots is staying out. I can put it in something else. I had to steal scissors, scissors from my shop. So I didn't think I had any more. And that one had two scissors. Um, this is as far as I've gotten on it. <laughs> this is also the first thing I stitched on linen. It was okay. But I got my Beetlejuice needle minder on it. Um, I mean, it looks fine. I just... I mean, this looks better than most that I've done on this. But you can just tell her I just pull my stitches too tight on linen. I'll get back to it one day. I gotta graduate again. I gotta graduate again. Oh, and this is also a stitch tool toolbox bag. I think most of mine are. Sorry, this box is a little cumbersome. 
And then I think this one is too. Now there's, girl, I have bought so many bags. Now I see why you were trying to tell me. <laughs> I had a problem. <laughs> um, trucking along June. Yep. It's the only one I've started out of the trucking along series. I have them all. It's the only one I've started. And I didn't get a very good start. It's just on chalkboard black. And that's it. Same place it was 19 videos ago. But I do have my really cool needle minder on there. I know it's not really fun and exciting when I don't really work on them. I just, I have been busy. Another stitch toolbox. This is like my favorite, favorite one because I love twall. Love it. And then this is Plum Street Sampler Cinnamon Stars. And I don't think I have some of these now. I was missing a bunch of the flosses. And I got an empty floss bitty in that. And this is on linen, 30 count. And I thought I scrapped this or decided I was going to scrap it. That's what I've gotten done. I don't even know what direction. I stitch like this. So yeah, it's this direction. That's all I've gotten done. And this is parchment, 30 count weeks. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I may restart that on something else because I'm not stitching on it. And I know it's because of the, I know it's the fabric because linen's in timeout in my house right now. It don't like me and I don't like it. So, and I say give me some like good neutral 18 counts because most of the stuff that I have are um, wild, crazy, splotchy <laughs> stuff. So, and this is one of my Sheila bags. And in this one, I pulled out everything in it. It's Oh Christmas Tree, which is all through the night. And you get all the floss back in there. Maybe. And I started this again on, uh, I think I had pulled for it. Um... linen and I didn't like it it was the called for so then I, I say I started it oh that's right it was one stitch <laughs> it's not a start it's literally one stitch <laughs> um but yeah I changed this to I think this is that mushroom even weave Lugana that I have. Oh, don't steal my notes. And then we all know this one. This is also on a stitch toolbox bag. Um, this is my dark queen. I'm just going to hold her up like this. I'm not pulling out these paper out. And of course, so much more of her is offered right now. We have faces and hair and boobies. And I'm still just right there. It's angry. Y'all, I don't think I'm, I'm pulling stitches. Because I don't think I'll get back to this if I don't fix that. Because now I'm just mad. I don't know how to... I don't know how to write, the, write it. Well, I just broke that. Actually, I didn't. Somebody has eaten the ends off of it. I'm telling you. Cannot have ribbon in this house. Oops. Uh, another stitch toolbox. And 
This is modern folk embroidery. Nice gear. And this is that coverlet. This is the Ellen Reed coverlet. And I did this on that mushroom. I'm doing it in silks. Yeah, that's what I have done so far. I don't know which way it is, but anywho. My husband's banging around downstairs and coughing. It's nice. Sound like he's dying. Another stitch toolbox. Getting a little redundant. Strings. And this is my ink circles. Get cracking. Oh, he's banging around down there. I haven't worked on this in a, forever. I need to, because I was actually enjoying this. Um, but then shiny object, something else took took it away. But I was actually enjoying it. Did pretty good. This is the first thing I think I stitched on uh, Lugana. And it was when I discovered that I like even weave. As long as I don't have to think too hard. Because it's the counting that I don't like. Another stitch toolbox. <laughs> this one's got a, another little sad start. This is the chock full. See, it says hands on the side, but I really thought. All right. I guess not. Anyway. What do I know? And then my start on this, it's also on chalkboard black. If I can open it up and fold it back. It's a carrot. One carrot. Not even. Not even a whole carrot. I don't have a stem done. This possibly is another, nope, this is Dot Dot Goose design. Yep, this one's Dot Dot Goose. A little patriotic. I've showed it before. It's got trucks inside. This one is my Revaris Freedom. And Stuff sticking everywhere. No, don't leave me. I would say this is my strong hand, but it's not. I can't get it. Uh, this is on natural Witchell 14 count Ada. Maybe. That's what I got. And I got my it. I think it's my kitty. It's kitten. Need a minder. And then another dot dot goose. It's the sunflower one. And this one is by Needle bling. Rear view pumpkin. And it came with a little. No thread. Um, let me open this up. Hold on. And I got my really cool cameo. Need a minder. Oh yeah, this is the one I completely, 
That's all I got. I frogged this whole thing. Completely frogged it. And then completely changed the color to carriage black, I believe. It was like a green. And I didn't like it. So I think I changed it to carriage black. Yep. Instead of green. And the last one in this thing. This one is by my husband. I'm holding it upside down. That's why I've got it because it was done upside down. That's how it became mine. It was his first bag. I'll cut him some slack. The inside's got this. Um, and this is a Bent Creek Free. And it says it's on linen, but I'm telling you, this has got to be even weave. It is too thick for linen. That's what I've gotten in so far. I swear I think this is linen though. Does it say? I mean, y'all don't care, right? Dublin flax linen. That's thick though. It felt more like Lugana. So, I'll be that one. All right. So that's all of that one. Let me set it down. Let me bring over this one. This one, don't worry. It's just got a bunch. It's got my empty bags in it too. And my kit up. I only have a couple starts in here. Everything else are just kit, kitted up. So, I've got this one. I wanted to do. Another stitch toolbox bag for our bathroom for my husband. And I'm restarting this. I haven't yet. I'm going to put it on Peddler's Blend. Um, you know, put something really sweet. I was doing it on linen. I don't like and I hate to start over, but sometimes you just got to, right? If you're not, if it's not making you happy, I had that much done, which isn't much, but it felt like eternity on linen. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so I just gotta start that over. And I think, I ain't got around to it. Our anniversary's not until September, I'll just do that. <laughs> Uh, this is a dot dot goose bag and I've got the good morning Maui which um, one of the three trail three trails stitchers is doing this one welcome foolish mortals I think Sarah's doing it and this bag is the, the Mickey Mouse bag if you can see in there I'm doing this on Picture This Plus. I think it's haunted. Thought it was murky, but I think it's haunted. I'm just, hold on, I got a situation. Where I was clipping back. All right. And that's what I've got started. Not very much. Not very much. Oh, I can't even clip that clip. But, I mean, this one could be a really fast stitch. I just got to do it. <laughs> Especially now, like, this is one of the first ones I got started. So, now that I'm a little bit more experienced, shall we say, um, I should go faster. Another dot dot goose bag. And then this one is the Ouija board by the Witchy Stitcher. And I did show this one more recently just because I actually got some stitches in it. Um, that's pretty much it. It's pretty close to a finish. 
Um, I really need to get on that. <laughs> Probably said that last time too. Should have never taken that piece of pepper out. Cause his hand has no, has no, oh, I have no um, dexterity at all in it. Okay, yeah. Getting old is rough. All right, I'm just gonna leave that. Everything else in here are just things that are like kitted up. I'm not gonna pull them all out, like my chopping mall. It's just kitted up. It's in the stitch toolbox bag. Um, yeah, so this is my kitted up stuff and then um, my bags that need projects. All right, so I showed all these. These are, and then in my current to and fro bag, this is another Stitch 2 books, and I'm just gonna show these through here. I'm sorry, I know it's lazy, but my hand hurts. That's my hashtag big ass bird sale. And he's still where he was last time I showed it. Kern, got some Kern on there. That's it. So, and I really do enjoy stitching this. It's a pretty easy stitch. Um, I just got sidetracked by Elizabeth Bathory. I mean, who wouldn't? So I stitched on her a little bit last night, but I had a horrible, horrible. And this one is um, Sheila made it out of fabric that I sent her. Um, I mean, I don't know who wouldn't get distracted by her. And then I love the inside. But the little stitch out, and then it's on Jody fabric. I got some more in. Can y'all see? I can't see over the phone. <laughs> so she's coming right. I mean, this fabric, God, this fabric is just everything uh i don't think jody watches but if you do jody i need like 15 more pieces of size and i keep checking fire poppies i want i like the tea dyed believe it or not i mean i do need at least one piece of the white i, I do have a piece of the white i think it may be lugana though but i need more of this coffee tea dyed one i like that neutral look with the uh blood splatter all right What's next on the bag of tricks that you're having to see the top of my head or side of my face? Let me just pull them all out. Just easier. Okay. This is a dot dot goose bag. That's why I thought. That's why I didn't think. Well, so that's my fabric. That's dot dot goose fabric. Look pretty close. <laughs> It's not the same, but it looks pretty close. <laughs> All right, this is the Pendle Hill Witches, and I'm showing it through the plastic because I'll never get that little piece of paper back in there since it's not stiff. Um, and again, it's the same place. I just got to finish up. Gotta finish it. Finally bought a shadow box for my Pickety Witch. So. And this is a Stitch Toolbox bag. And this one has Freedom in it. Which I love. I didn't see that, did y'all? And this is the one where I'm, I'm, I've got to do her on Ada. I need to make her bigger. But I love her so much. And her skin is one over one. And those are the tiniest. Let me see. It's probably going to not focus. But those are so tiny. You can't even tell they're stitches. <laughs> I'm 
just dropping stuff. It's fine. It's fine. I'm injured. <laughs> injured bad. Sorry, that was like, I don't know if anybody ever saw those. Um, they were kids and they were doing the, um, I think it was United Healthcare commercials. And this little kid, and he is so, so cute. And he is like, and you know what he did? Kicked him in the, no, maybe he says penis. Kicked him in the penis. He was injured. Injured bad. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> okay, another stitch toolbox. I didn't realize I had this big of a problem, Anna. <laughs> I'll start pulling them all out. This is Quaker Compass by Rosewood Manor. And I really need to get back on this one because I freaking loved this one. I couldn't put it down when I was working on it. It just took one shiny object to take me away. There it is. Oh, I love it. Love it. All right, one more, guys. Just one more. My other abandoned love. <laughs> Glendon Place, Sleepy Hollow, hashtag Headless Horseman Sal. Isn't that bad when I just abandoned my own Sal's? I didn't abandon it. It just... Other things took priorities. And that's where I'm at on it. Love it. And I just watched, who was I watching? Somebody wanted to stitch it. Was it Rocio? Wanted to stitch this and Andrea had it, but didn't really want to stitch it, but she wanted it stitched. And I think they just traded off. And I think Rocio is gonna um, stitch it for her. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Cause she wants to stitch it, but she doesn't know what she would do with it. So it's a great idea. All right, I'm out of here. I have no idea how long this is because it's like four different videos from where I've had to stop and start. And I think I've showed everything I have for now. I'll still have more stuff on Sunday to show. But I um, hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas um, or whatever holiday that you are celebrating this time of year. And um, I will see you guys on Sunday. I cannot believe we were not interrupted by cats except for off screen. That's like never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I think one other video but um again have a wonderful day and um I'll see you on Sunday thanks <laughs>